Hello everyone, Etta here. I am going to do a quick video. I'm hoping it's gonna be a quick video for a very small order that I did at the end of June, just before June was gonna end and I wouldn't be able to get any more of the Bring Back My Bars because many of them probably will not stay in my club. I kind of put them in my club just so that I could give it a, another really good thought about whether or not I wanted to keep some of them. But, um, so I went ahead and picked up a few in, at the end of June with a couple of other things. And it's a, I mean, it seems like a big box, but I think there's just one item in here that's probably too, was too big to put in a smaller box because other than that, it really isn't a lot. So, um, I might as well go ahead and pull out the bigger item that was not going to fit, I think. I went to the consultant store and I've been eyeing these things for probably over a year and they were in the clearance section for very inexpensive. So I picked up the little three pack of clipboards and it says, looks like one of them, at least one of them says Sensi in the back. I just wanted these not for like order forms and stuff like that because it's not like like I have that kind of um, need but I do sometimes just want something like if I'm writing down let's say I'm watching somebody's video and they're going over scent combinations or scents that they love and I want to keep track of it I want to write it down I never have anything to write it on because I might have some paper but I don't have anything hard right away that I can grab to put it on so I thought clipboards would be perfect for that. <clears throat> I also picked up from the clearance the little three pack of Scentsy lanyards that says that say Wax Boss. Um, I want to say this was very very inexpensive also, and I thought I I walk around sometimes with my keys, which are in my pocket right now, and I've got like one of these things so that I can put it on my wrist um, and on my keys but sometimes I don't have pockets to put it in right I'm not wearing something that has pockets and I don't always want to just hang it off my wrist because it dangles kind of a lot so I thought oh maybe one of those times when I'm not wearing something with pockets I can wear like the lanyard and put the keys at the end of that and just kind of wear them like that so I don't lose them because I don't know about you. I mean, I think a lot of us have trouble keeping track of our phones, but could you imagine trying to keep track of your keys? At least you could tell somebody, hey, call me, as long as your phone's not on silent. You could say, call me, and your phone's gonna ring and you can find it. Keys, unless you put something on it that's gonna make noise that, you know, can ring or do something, I don't know. You're not finding your keys, so. <laughs> I thought, I need something like that. Then I picked up um, two 25 watt bulbs in the blue. I do enjoy using blue. I haven't even turned on the warmers in here, but like I put blue in that Aziza warmer and I like to keep blue in my God is Great warmer. I just, I like the way the blue bulbs look a lot of times. So I needed some more blue bulbs. And then the only other thing were the, the bars that I picked up from the Bring Back My Bar. Um, and I think some other ones that I think had just gotten released at that point. So I'm gonna hit the mute button on my, on my microphone so I can open up this Mylar bag. Just be, uh, one second. Okay, that hopefully worked and no extra noise from the microphone and the Mylar bag from me. So what I picked up, all right, so here were the extra things that I picked up that were not part of the Bring Back My Bar. They had just released the Stitch uh, collection and I went ahead and picked up, I think I picked up three, hold on a second. Yeah, because I did a three pack, a three pack, a six pack of the license bars. So I picked up 
three of the angel, three of angel, and just one of stitch. It's funny, um, I was watching Elizabeth from Elizabeth Scenes and Sense, and I think she had mentioned how Stitch was like the number one licensed bard, I think to be clubbed or something like that. I, I don't know if it was clubbed or just purchased, I'm not really sure. And I kind of chuckled to myself and I thought, yeah, I'm the different one because I like Angel. I didn't like Stitch when it first came out. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to pick up one Stitch, give it another try. Maybe, maybe now I like it. I know I like Angel. Um, I think I even had her in my club for a tiny little while, a long time ago. But I didn't put Stitch in because... No, I didn't like it. But you know, I think she may have even compared it or somebody compared it to Blue Grotto. And I thought, well, that's probably why because I didn't think I liked Blue Grotto based on the little scent sample either. So that could explain it. I mean, it smells, it smells okay in the clam. I'm not going to say it doesn't, but you know, I think Blue Grotto probably will smell okay in the clam. But we'll see. I'll give Stitch another try, but I already know I like Angel. I think I still had a couple of bars left over, and I actually warmed her not too long ago, so I know I still like her. Um, and then to finish off that six-pack, I picked up two of the Love and Kisses Mini from the Bring Back My Bar. I did enjoy this one in the half bath and I thought, you know, two bars, I do two cubes at a time in there at two cubes in a time. That's eight warmings. Um, and I'm not going to do them back to back. I'm going to spread it out. So these two bars should last me a good long while, especially if I start cycling it through with some other bars that I like specifically for the half bath. Then I picked up, uh, let's see. Is that a six pack, two, four, six? Yeah, okay. <laughs> and another six pack. In that six pack, I got two Rustic Lodge. I've said that being in the Houston area, fall, winter, kind of, winter will kind of start usually maybe, maybe the end of December if we actually have a cold December. Um, but more so in January through March maybe like the beginning of March it's not very long and that's usually when I like to do like the mints and stuff like that and then I'll start into like the grapefruit and you know towards the end of winter and in December I like to do more of the Christmas kind of thought uh, scents and then in November I like to do more ones that geared towards Thanksgiving or just certain scents like that um, cider and you know whatever anyways I don't have a very long time fall so I had already picked up I think two rustic lodge so I thought two more even if I did two a year that's two years worth so I'm I'm good to go on that I picked up one more churro churro just to in case it performs better now than it used to I haven't tried it but I thought you know I just have one extra or if apple butter frosting happens to come out in like a brick or something I'm like I want to be prepared and have I think that makes I don't know if that's three or four also on churro churro I'd have some of that at least and then I picked up two more plum and white woods that's one that I'm contemplating whether or not it's going to stay in my club it's such a pretty scent but again it's one that I normally only do in like fall winter. I don't know why it doesn't really smell like it's only a fall winter scent. Um, it's been a, it's been a while since I warmed this, so hmm, what are, I don't know. I'm I'm still contemplating. I have some time to think about it since I was able to skip both my bi monthly and my quarterly. So bi monthly isn't until uh, July, September and quarterly is now October so I've got some time to think about it but I will definitely be cutting a lot from my club and then the last one in the six pack was southern sweet tea I mentioned um, I think it was in the empties video that I only got like 
I don't know, three hours maybe out of this. And I don't even know if it was three hours. And then I couldn't smell it. So I don't know if it was just too new in pouring and it needed longer cure time. But I really enjoyed the scent at my desk. So I thought, okay, I'm just going to let these sit. I think I have one other one. I'll probably let it sit until next late spring, early summer and check it out then, see how how it, long it lasts, how well it does. And if it's still only giving me a couple of hours, I may just do it right at my desk and enjoy it like right there. And if I, if I even still have the little garden warmer on my desk, I could change it and put something else. But you know, if it was the little garden warmer, I'm only putting one cube in there. So at one cube, two bars, <laughs> 16 warmings yeah that's gonna last me a while so anyways that was it it was a very small order i actually have two more um two more that i have to process might be three i know one says i think one says printed and two say posted i think that's what it is i kind of i kind of went a little purchasing crazy oh yeah because of the uh rainforest bungalow okay there are three because there's the big one that I put <clears throat> Rainforest. I say big one. It's when I put the 10 bars of Rainforest Bungalow. Then I did another order. I got greedy. And like a day or two later, I went and purchased a few more. And then on the most recent one, I, I kind of broke down. And I, I got that warmer that has already sold out. Um, but I got it because I loved the way it looked so i went ahead and picked it up so i do have three orders that still need to come in so i'll have some other videos for you hopefully soon hopefully they won't take too long to get here but i hope that you enjoyed i hope you're having a wonderful day thank you so much for joining me and stopping by and taking a little time to check out what i picked up and i will be talking to you soon but until then enjoy your day or is it enjoy your sense first hmm I get confused sometimes. Haven't had my coffee. So enjoy your sense, enjoy your day, and enjoy your journey. Talk to you later. Bye.